day 335 of the Trump administration, and we begin our broadcast with an explosive new report in Politico tonight. This one says Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives are running their own kind of covert investigation into alleged corruption at the Justice Department and the FBI. Journalists Kyle Cheney and John Bresnahan of Politico write, a group of House Republicans has gathered secretly for weeks in the Capitol in an effort to build a case that senior leaders of the Justice Department and FBI improperly and perhaps criminally mishandled the contents of a dossier that describes alleged ties between President President Donald Trump and Russia, according to four people familiar with their plans. A subset of the Republican members of the House Intelligence Committee, led by Chairman Devin Nunes of California, has been quietly working parallel to the committee's high-profile inquiry into Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. They haven't informed Democrats about their plans, but they have consulted with the House's general counsel. You'll recall the president himself has slammed the FBI in recent weeks, saying it was, quote, in tatters and that it was a shame what's happening at the FBI. Well, today, some House Republicans offered their own critique of the FBI's role in the Russia investigation. The FBI should be cooperating with us. The Justice Department should be cooperating with us. What are they trying to cover up? What's the, you know, why, why are they obstructing a committee from doing its lawful work on a matter which is so vital to the country? We need to have subpoenas issued to get documents and answers so the American people know how their tax money was used and if their own government was working to subvert the very president that they elected. This same Politico article goes on to say some Republicans on the House Intel Committee hope to uncover alleged corruption and conspiracy at the senior levels of federal law enforcement to be detailed in a report that would be released next year. According to Politico, that House report could, quote, ultimately be used by Republicans to discredit special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into whether any Trump aides colluded with Russia during the 2016 campaign or possibly even to justify his dismissal. The special counsel has been the focus of increasingly vocal criticism from the president's allies in his party and from certain members of the media who are calling for the Russia investigation to be shut down. Today, the top Democrat on the Senate Intel Committee, Virginia Senator Mark Warner, issued a warning and called on Congress to prevent that from happening. I believe it is up to every member of this institution, Republican or Democrat, to make a clear and unambiguous statement that any attempt by this president to remove Special Counsel Mueller from his position or to pardon key witnesses in any effort to shield them for a, from accountability or shut down the investigation would be a gross abuse of power and a flagrant violation of executive branch responsibilities and authorities. These truly are red lines and simply cannot allow them to be crossed. Firing Mr. Mueller or any other of the top brass involved in this investigation would not only call into question this administration's commitment to the truth, but also to our most basic concept, rule of law. It also has the potential to provoke a constitutional crisis. Mr. Warner's speech in the Senate was a moment today, and with us tonight to talk about it, Michael Crowley, national security editor and senior correspondent for Politico, Shannon Pettypiece, White House correspondent for Bloomberg, and Chuck Rosenberg's back with us. He's worked as counsel to Robert Mueller when he was FBI director, then as chief of staff and senior counselor to James Comey when he was FBI director. He happens to also be a former U.S. attorney, former federal prosecutor, and happily a current MSNBC contributor. Uh, welcome to to you all, Mr. Crowley, I know you're not the parliamentarian or House counsel, but the argument seems to be that this is a kind of um, uh, not a fully sanctioned subgroup mm -hmm. of this larger committee yeah. working on a, a politically motivated issue, perhaps with powers of investigation. It's quite murky. It's quite unusual. Uh, it's a bit of a rogue operation, you might say, and it certainly is not one that is including Democrats. Uh, when you have investigations like this, you would like to think that they are bipartisan and uh, both parties are, they may disagree, but they at least know what the other one is doing. Uh, in this case, Democrats seem to have been shut out of the process. Uh, and it's part and parcel of 
this Republican fixation not with the underlying question of Russia's role in the 2016 election, whether Russia uh, penetrated Trump's inner circle, whether Trump has connections to Russia that have not been fully revealed that might influence his judgment about Vladimir Putin and U.S. policy toward Russia. Instead, the Russian, the Republican fixation has been on the process. Is the DOJ, uh, the FBI, totally on the level? Are people there biased against Donald Trump? And, you know, from uh, our excellent reporting uh, tonight, I, what I don't see is evidence that suggests they're really on to something here. You know, they, the, the Republicans suspect that the dossier was the basis for FBI investigation of the Trump campaign, maybe a FISA warrant, and they think that the dossier itself is totally corrupt and invalid. But where's the tangible evidence of that? Right now, it really seems like a storyline that Republicans are wanting to use to muddy the waters rather than something tangible that, uh, that would give lots of people cause for concern. Chuck, to Michael's point there that we've seen some moving targets, um, I want to play for you what uh, Congressman Schiff of California, the leading Democrat on House Intel, said on this very network to Rachel Maddow tonight. We'll talk about it on the other side. I have not talked with uh, Chairman Nunes uh, since the article came out, but I have certainly been aware of a couple things for a long time, uh, and, and these are things that we have uh, raise the alarm bells about, uh, and I think we need to raise them even further at this point. And that is initially, rather than really focus on the Russian intervention in our election and the issue of the connections between the Trump campaign and the Russians, uh, the chairman and others on the committee were focused instead on trying to build a case that the Obama administration was either illegally wiretapping the Trump administration or that they were illegally unmasking people. So the focus was on mas unmasking. Now, when they found nothing there, uh, they moved on instead to trying to discredit Christopher Steele, to discredit the FBI. So, Chuck, you hear it there. Uh, how is it likely to go over among your colleagues at your own beloved institution at the FBI uh, to operate under the knowledge that this attack on this American institution may just be an act of deflection away from the president? Well, Brian, it wouldn't be the first time. And it is my beloved institution, and beloved for a reason, because the men and women there are good and decent and honest and try very hard to get it right. I'll say this. Congress has a legitimate oversight function. Uh, Lord knows I've testified in front of it many times, and I respect that. But in terms of investigations, the notion that a small number of people in one party, in one chamber, would be conducting an investigation leaves me feeling a little bit queasy. Uh, investigations require uh, that you leave all of your politics at the doorstep. You can't permit that into an investigation. And so uh, I trust the FBI to do it and do it right. Uh, I have concerns, as Senator uh, Warner and uh, Congressman Schiff, Schiff have articulated, about the way it's being done uh, in the House. Shannon, uh, it is clear there is nothing scarier to Democrats than the thought of the president in Florida in a room alone with his cell phone on, say, Christmas Eve. Uh, when Senator Warner rose to give that speech in the Senate today, it was a moment. This was not a guy saying uh, the holidays are a great time for uh, our beloved Virginia hams. This was a very serious message. What is your current reporting? on the president's mindset and the likelihood that he may try something over the holidays. I have not talked to anyone in the White House close to the president who thinks he will actually fire uh, Robert Mueller. Now, on the outer circle, pundits, commentators, you know, they're all calling for it. On the inner circle, I personally have not found anyone who thinks that that's a possibility. And in fact, I get the opposite answer instead of that he will absolutely not fire him. Now, maybe everyone's lying to me. But the logic that's, that has been laid out, though, is that one, well, first, there's nothing there, so we just want to wrap this up as quickly as possible. But secondly, Firing Robert Mueller would only drag this investigation out. It would only create a political firestorm. It would only, you know, he wouldn't just be able to fire Mueller. He'd have to fire Rob Rosenstein. He'd have to go, you know, in a Saturday Night Massacre style uh, event. Uh, it would be 
they do understand that it would be very politically toxic. It's something no one wants to get close to. Now, trying to discredit his investigation, trying to poke holes in it, uh, I mean, that's something I hear uh, not so much within the White House, but even within the White House saying, well, you know, there, it is odd how many Democrats there are on Mueller's team, or boy, there sure are problems at the FBI. Uh, you know, how, it's amazing how politicized the FBI is. That's the type of thing I hear within the White House. And then, of course, it, with Republicans in Congress and, and the president's outer circle, uh, they're trying to take a, a page right out of the Clinton playbook and, and do to, to Mueller what was done to Ken Starr and just discredit it and make it a, a partisan, as they say over and over again, witch hunt. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.